Where's Jody at? Jody? Jody. <laughs> Is he busy on the phone? Are you busy? Always busy. I just, <laughs> I just want to know what you've done on this bike, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we're back again for yet another episode of RCO Days Reloaded. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new to the channel and you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. So today is another day on the road. I've just pulled up to a friend's over at Fort 100 to pick up a masterpiece, another bike that I brought here probably a couple of weeks back. And I'm just here to collect it, to return it to the customer because it came in pretty much in stock form. And yeah, it's been th'd basically so at the minute workshop's closed so i'm gonna sneak in and see what the boys are up to just come in was a bit of mud so the van's a bit dirty again after i cleaned it but yeah man it's all good so let's see what the boys are doing yo lads what's happening it's on it's on so i'm here to collect this bad boy and the boys are busy at work at the minute there's so much going on in there right now so you got that one that i brought up here a couple of days ago we got that going on there we got that going on there we got that one going on there the boys are busy in the corner i don't know what they're doing what are you doing yes bro what's happening <laughs> you know how i build like really expensive nice bikes every day yeah yeah what are you doing now shredding I'm paper I'm battling with a shredder <laughs> Must, it? Oh man, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. So yes, Jody's in there shredding some paper up. We got Evan. What are you doing, Evan? What are you doing? He's just, he's just, he's just doing nothing. Ordering. <laughs> and the boys in the office are busy at work. What's happening, boys? All good. Wicked, wicked, wicked. So yeah, so it's quite late in the afternoon. I've got to go all the way down to South Wales to drop this. Beautiful machine off. Don't know if I'm allowed to show that. Yeah, you're all good. Oh, we are, we are. We got Mr. I Valley over here working his magic. What's happening, sir? Good, good, good. Lovely. But yeah, man. Here she is. So we're going to take her out of the workshop, anyways, and we're going to have a proper look at this bad boy and see what has been done on it because when it came up here, it was modified, but it didn't have the full, full, full works done to it. I could spot the wide wheel kit already. Bang. Yeah. And I think I did address that last time. It, the wheel was so skinny, but now it's got the touches. Ooh. But yeah, let me get her out of the workshop anyways. And we're going to have a proper look when we're outside. What a transformation. So I'm going to start and I'm going to say pretty much what I can see. And then I'm going to bother Jody again and see if he can tell me exactly what he's done on this bike. Um, because, yeah, man, she's completely transformed. So I'm going to start off by saying the bike is completely stealth. My cup of tea. That's exactly 
what a scrambler would look like if I was to own one. So if I had one of these bikes, this is pretty much exactly how it would look. So I remember on the paint, it was blue and silver. Um, it didn't have the fat wide wheel on the front. I can't actually remember if it had this on, but anyways, let's have a look. So the exhaust has been modified because all of them beautiful wells that's been done in house. Um, the tips, I think they may have reused the tips because I do remember seeing those on the bike. Um, of course, now we've got the Excel rims with the nobly tires, pretty much off road, if you want to call it that. And as I said, everything has been stealthed on this bike. Little crash cages as well. I honestly can't remember if the bike had those on before. Again, obviously we've got the wide wheel kit on the front with the custom 1400 hubs. And of course that looks so sick. It's such a nice little touch. Personally, I'd probably have that in gloss black because obviously that is matte black. I'd make that gloss black. So I think that would be such a sick touch. But I mean, as it stands, the bike is very, very sick. And of course, obviously the exhaust. I do remember the light guard because obviously that's still there. Um, what else, what else, what else, man? I don't even know, I can't even remember. Everything has been completely blacked, blacked out on this bike. Um, but yeah, man, let me see what Jody's saying. Where's Jody at? Jody? Jody. <laughs> Is he busy on the phone? Are you busy? Yeah, busy. Always busy. Always busy. I just, <laughs> I just want to know what you've done on this bike. Pretty much. Oh, what, this yeah. <laughs> I want to know what you've done to it because I remember when it came in. Obviously, it did have a few bits on it, but it wasn't fully custom and TH. So well, tell it. me. So it's a basically a. It was a standard, pretty much standard Triumph 1200 XT Scrambler. Yeah. That he'd done a fair few bits on. So these are aftermarket uh, mud guards. So he's also got a load of motone bits on it as well. So like this light, I believe, and a few other little bits as well. Mm. But he'd already blacked it out and he'd been through Triumph catalog and they do have loads and loads of options as well. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That you can spec the bike with. However, it came to us and he was like, look, I want to make it like white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sick. You know what I mean? I want to make it sick. So what we did was we went with a wide yoke so these are all extended out 30 mil wider yeah um we've got the rizoma screen which is great but it comes with some ugly mounts so we made mm. these mounts which sit right behind there okay okay um we 3d printed a new like plug cover for him there and yeah, he's got yeah, yeah he's got the um the grill on the front yeah i remember that was so uh... what we've got is our wide hub extended axle we've got the wavy disc as well i thought that was a wavy disc we've got mm -hmm. xl rims a big tkc 80 tires we've got the 3d printed splash guard there as well yeah so boy. around this side we've got the pie cut exhaust as well so yeah, 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 yeah. real nice little option there so straight through we've got the heat shield on there still so you don't burn his leg mm. uh we got the we got the tank so we essentially take the tank strap out we weld a strip in as well and then skim the whole tank and then that gets painted black so we got custom satin decals so we got a tank protector there we've got knee pads here blacked out triumph badge as well bang, bang. and then moving towards the back we actually left all of this at the back pretty much standard so we've okay. got our big chunky wheel in the mm. back here mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. and our wavy disc so uh we sort of sort of did a bit on it that, you know yeah but did, what about was that seat on there the or? seat was there and see it was really? pretty much i can't even remember it's not standard on any of this but the yeah. guy had done a lot of stuff anyway so we were mm. like right he's like i just want to make it wide it's alan win jones yeah Are you gonna say yeah. no yeah, right, yeah the guy's yeah. a legend it's gotta be done man it's gotta be <laughs> done the guy's man. a legend so yes it's uh, a very 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 nice looking bike now actually one of my favorite scramblers we normally do a cup car mud guard and stuff like that but it's mm. very modern looking but this one it's proper classic looking and stealthy, i'm really happy man. with it as it's well so stealthy yeah it looks so sick as well yeah. so yeah bro absolutely love it i think alan's gonna i know alan's gonna love it now nah, well. bro he's gonna be over the moon with it man, man. <laughs> Yes, bro. But thank you so much uh, for taking yeah. it back for Nah, you. man. As always, man. Nice always a pleasure, bro, Jody. Yes. Obviously, so number one customer and all of that good stuff. Thanks, yeah, boy. <laughs> cool, man. But yeah, man. I'll leave you to it anyways. Nice um, one, sweet. So like I said before, um, as he said as well, it is probably one of his favourite scramblers that he's messed with. And again, it's the same with me. Stealth. I love the whole stealth thing. And these scramblers, I do like them. I really do. It's I wouldn't probably get it in a hurry, but looking like this, I definitely wouldn't turn it down. So, anyways, that's it. Let's get this bad boy in the van. Let's jump on the roads and let's get down to South Wales.